match for you is Najin Empire versus Businessman. The loser between these two players is eliminated from the tournament, and the winner is going to move on to fight against Team Attractions for the final ticket to top eight. Right. And here comes the first player at the Najin Empire, Kukuma. He was not that great in the first match, but let's put some hope in there. No. Nope. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. So, coming up against there comes Kukuma is... Low tier specialist from Kim Businessman. And both players did not do very well on their first match. But this is now or never now, you know. It is now or never. So, to tell you a little bit about their background, Kokoma is a fairly, fairly new player. Not the newest, but fairly new. He's a very young player. He's up and coming, but he has not been able to. He has not been able to show some good results yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> He's won. I don't, I don't know if he's won any matches so far, Not, but this is his chance against uh, Low Tier Specialist. Low Tier Specialist, on the other hand, he is the community manager. He's the website master oh. for Korean tech and community, the forum. And he might have a lot of information about this game and this league. That's true, that's true. So, new blood versus... Traditional blood. Traditional blood. Yeah, I, I refrain from saying old blood because you know <laughs> it's, it's new versus traditional. But character choices are backwards. You know, it's traditional versus new. All right, low this finds, finds the first opening. Oh, that backflip! Kokoma finds the wall flat. This is him to the corner. Nice bait on the spray oh. kick. Oh, nice bait. That last punch was powerful. Kokoma trying to say, "Hey, I want, I want, I want to win the win a game, <laughs> and I'm gonna take it right now." Oh, that one hit was just wow. so powerful. <laughs> that one combo did so much damage. I think. Already on his date, uh, rape mode. Just, just 13 seconds into the round, and it's Kokoma just takes it. Fight. Very and he quick has round. Blood. That was very impressive. Oh, it's Whoa. all Kokoma right now. Probably three zeros with. He's he's going for that. He's going for that. Kokoma trying to get his first win up on board in the season in well, front of everyone. One. This Find could be it. One. Almost. Combo. Almost. Oh, with a low kick. Now Kokoma went for low three, low kick three times in a row. I know. But you know, low tier specialist was not gonna give it to him. But you know. Kokoma was stubborn, just kept, 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 went, kept going for it and finally got it. And yeah, and he had this strong drive toward this win. And here comes the second player, a businessman, has IB playing speed. He's a very exper experienced player. Right, very experienced. He's placed well in tournaments before, but in his last game, he didn't do so well. Well, yeah. It was all me and Xiao in that, in that set. Xiao versus Xiao All right, and this coming up match, we have Dragunov versus Steve. Both players, uh, both characters are pretty strong, but Steve is, well, was kind of underestimated in this version, and it was actually downgraded, right? Compared to previous versions. Compared to previous games, Steve is not picked by a lot of a lot of players as much as before. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, Dragnoth is the champion character from Evolution 2015. So some interesting character dynamics going on right here. Once again, new new blood versus traditional blood. And this is Kokoma versus Tatsai. Is this gonna be Whoa. veteran showing why he's a veteran? Round one oh, so that far. One combo was just so powerful, so deadly. Whoa. Very quick round so far. Tataki not even giving Gokuma a chance to breathe. Oh, but this time Gokuma is having a hard time. But Gokuma almost making his way Whoa. back and he does. Oh, with wow. him. 
with a great Smart. head. That was a great round. That guys. was a great round. That was great. And for such a young player to come back from such a deficit like that, it's not it's not the easiest thing to do. Gokuma getting out of the corner, fixing the angles wow, a little bit. Whip. Oh! Wow, wow. Look at the damage of that. <laughs> that was just, oh my god, that was impeccable. How are your legs okay after that throw? Shouldn't they be like all broken? <laughs> Gokuma. Great mode, that's Aiki. Gokuma is looking for one hit. Oh! Another great round by Gokuma. Oh. Did you see that slow motion? Yeah, I love that addition in Tekken 7. Yeah. I know. Gokuma already 2 0. The two rounds he won weren't, weren't easy. But nonetheless, it's Gokuma with game points. Yeah. Each round was very difficult, but. Very well, close for sure. Yeah, but the score is 2 0. Yeah, Gokuma somehow. Yeah, Gokuma was in this situation, in this exact situation, every Whoa. single round. He's made it count. Is he gonna do it? Is three he gonna times, do it again? Three times in a row? <laughs> no way. No way. Whoa. No way. No way. Whoa, look at it. Look at his life bar. Oh. <laughs> okay, no way it is. <laughs> Not three times in a row. Not but times. it was very close. He could have done it. I know. This is a slow starter. No, I can see why they're Gokuma is sponsored now. Again. Wow, that throw so, does so much damage. Oh, with that Gokuma. Uh, counter. Gokuma just needs to find this hit, oh. and he does. Perfect counter hit. Oh, he's happy. And the final kick. Slapping those buttons a little bit at the end, you know. Look at that sponsorship tag all over their body. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure Kokomo was having a little hard time yeah. when he couldn't perform in previous games, but now you know finally he got two wins. He's making his sponsors proud, you know. Finding his groove. Finally. Good, good for him. Good for him. And here comes the captain of the businessmen. And he was doing well. He was doing it well in the previous round. It was Miramed, Xiaoyu versus Xiaoyu. Even though he was Lu, uh, he lost, uh, he did really well. Right, he was the only player from from his team to take one round uh -huh. against means mean, ferocious <laughs> Xiao. Right. So, um, the character Xiaoyu got better uh, this version. The combo got better, and the damage was much more powerful compared to previous seasons. That's true. So, he does have some good weapons on his side in Xiaoyu, but he has to beat three players of Najin Empires. That's not, well, that's, not easy. That cannot be easy. But that's the task that he has on his hands right now. Let's see. Gokuma finds the first opening. Whoa! Wow, nice damage. Okay. Oh, the throw. Counter throw it is good. Oh, nice, nice corner swap. The wall counter. Wow, the round turned over so quickly. Oh. It was all Kokuma in the beginning, but then Chow just turned it around so quickly. Now, start with a throw. He just took that round one. So the trip and the combo Again. conversion. Good. Pressure. Pressure by Xiao, but now it's Gokuma with the pokes. Oh, that kick. With a little bit of talk already to Jung Kung Mew on his raid mode. Nice. Ah. Gokuma showed very good control in that round with a lot of very right. well placed pokes, very safe. Very, very good round from both players. Showing how these pl these characters should be played, very exemplary. All right, Xiao finds the finds the opening, finds the, finds the launcher combo. Whoa, that throw! That, that does so much damage. Oh I, my god! Although I know it does a lot of damage, I just can't get used to it. It's just so much damage. I know. Gokuma puts his team on match point. They wanna get closing right here. There's a lot of things. A oh. lot of things are dependent upon this match. Chao Yu with some good pressure. 
Now, now Kokoma needs to find his own pressure, but Whoa, gets lost. That combo, instead. that combo might. Yes, that combo okay. might. Final round. All right, it's still match point, Kokoma. Still match point. Match point, Najin Empire. Oh, that counter. Both players taking it a little slower in the final round, but they decided to engage. Whoa, that combo. Damage was pretty good. Okay. It's Gokuma in the corner. Gets it out. The pressure. Slowly gets out of the corner. Xiao with those mix-ups. Trying to find that one hit. One hit. Just one hit is needed. He needs this. Whoa. Nah, what a nice block. That Whoa. upper. That upper made it. What a nice block at the end right there. Oh, he a little clinch of the fist right there at the end. <laughs> Captain, again, save the team. Uh, yeah, go, go take a sip of the water. Yes, that's a good practice. You know, have a little strategy talk with your teammates. You know. uh -huh. uh, but the next opponent is not an easy opponent. Same from Imagine Empire. Not at all. He's the highest place in Korean. That is Evolution 2015 Second 7 Tournament. Sure. And he doesn't allow any mistakes, you know? When you give him a mistake, it's gonna ride over it. And he's gonna punish you hard for it. And the technique is very focused on middle part for the character Jack 7. So let's see how it's gonna go. Because Xiaoyu, um, the Jijun Xiaoyu was focused more on the low side of the character. So let's see that's how it's true. gonna go. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he went for a lot of sweeps into combos. So. Sometimes when you're rotating your stick before before a game starts, it, you, it can mean that you're warming your hands up. Also, it can mean that you're a ner nervous a little bit. Oh, really? It could be both. So, so both you're nervous. players are pretty nervous now. Yeah. Understandably, you know. Round one. They're in the loser's bracket. Fight. If you lose this, you're out of the tournament. Right. Something neither of these players want. Shayu with some tricky movement in the beginning of the round. That's seven, one, two. Oh, finds the parry. Converts it, converts it nicely into a little combo. Oh. But you know, the damage difference is so it's just so huge between Jack and Shao. I know. You know, huge robot versus little little girl. Little girl. Did you know already raid mode? This Saint is needs one more hit. Saint just needs one more hit. He's not gonna overextend himself. Definitely not. Saint is Whoa. a Saint that is high a, kick was just wrapped up then round. Saint is a veteran. He's not gonna give too many chances in situations like that. He's very good at maintaining maintaining that lead and to close the round. He found the line. Oh. Yes. Uh, it's very damaging character, Jack Seven. Saint actually wishes that he can change characters. Oh really? Because ap after after a recent patch, Jack has been nerfed a little bit. Oh. And he wishes he can change characters because he plays other characters in oh. a game with that high kick. Round three. Gets round two. Gets round two. As I was saying, he usually plays other characters in the arcade. But due to the rules of the tournament, you cannot change your character. So he's stuck with Jack 7. That can be pretty sad for some of the players because... Oh! But you can't be sad right here. That body smash. And Nazim Empire can have one more chance to one get to the top 8, right? Uh, that's right. And unfortunately for Team Businessman, they have been they have been eliminated from the tournament. Just showing they were trying to make a comeback at the end, but it was Saint was Saint Jack was a little too much. A little too much. But undoubtedly they played very well. You know, Lucky Chloe, well, you know, Lucky Chloe was quick, <laughs> kind of. It's, it's low tier. <laughs> <laughs> low tier especially could not handle it, but um Pataki and Chizun played their character very well. They handled their character very well. Uh -huh. So the final match will be Dobakin versus Nazi Empire.